The following is a class on Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 1, Chapter 2, Text Number 9th, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupad recorded on 3rd August 1975 in Detroit. Water. Cha. Na artha arthayo bhagalpati. Na arthasya dharmai kantasya. Kama labaya hi smitaha. Dharma. Uh, generally it is understood religion. A religion means a kind of faith. So that is not the proper meaning of dharma. Faith. Faith one may have, one may not have. But actually dharma means compulsory. It must be. Just like sugar. Sugar must be sweet. Uh, There is no question of sometimes becoming sweet and sometimes becoming bitter. That is not sugar. Sugar must be sweet. Similarly, dharma is also must be. It cannot be option or a kind of faith which you can change at your whims. <laughs> that is not dharma. <laughs> dharma means must be. <clears throat> the same example. A particular thing has a particular characteristic. The sugar characteristic is sweetness. Uh, chili, uh, hot. Similarly, everything has got its characteristic. Uh, there's a microphone. I am speaking, it must resound. That is the characteristic. That is all. Which cannot be separated. If sweetness is separated from sugar, it is no longer see. Uh, similarly, Dharma means that. Uh, the dharma means, real mean, meaning is characteristic. Uh, the characteristic of the living being is to serve. Mm. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave this instruction. Jibher Swarup Hoy Nitya Krishna Das. That is the characteristic of all living entities. To become servant. To become servant of Krishna. But when we do not serve Krishna, then because my constitutional position is to serve, I have to serve Maya. Uh, if you don't serve Krishna, then you have to serve Maya. Because you have no other business than to serve. Just like a servant class. If he gives up one master, he must accept another master. Maybe better master. But master he has to accept. Uh, just like dog, without accepting a master, it is street dog. It is no uh, position. So dharma means that the characteristic of the living being. Uh, so here it is said, dharma sahi apavargasya na artha arthaya bhagalpati. Uh, there are four principles in the material world. Dharma, artha, Kam moksha. Human life begins from religious life. 
because in the animal life there is no religion. Animal life, cat's life, dog's life, tiger's life, or any other less than human being, especially civilized human being all over the world, uh, there is some type of religion. Either it may be Hindu religion or Christian religion or Mohammedan religion or Buddhist religion. That is the sign of civilized human society. Dharmena hina pasubhi samana ahara nidra bhayamaitnancha samana metat pasubhi narana eating, sleeping, sex life and defense. They are common either to the human being or to the animals. Uh, what is the difference between animal and human being? The difference is that a human being, civilized being, has some sort of religious understanding. The cats and dogs, they have no such thing. That is the difference. Therefore, when human being becomes irreligious, without any religion, then it is no better than the cats and dogs. So, civilized human being must have religion. Uh, but religion does not mean to develop or improve economic condition. Generally, people go to church, to temple, to express some, uh, I mean, some awful condition, artha, uh, jiggyas, um, Chaturvida bhajante maang sukriti na arjuna. What is the next line? Artho arthyati jigyasu gyani cha bharataru sa. Four classes of men in the beginning take to God consciousness. If they are pious, sukriti na. Sukriti means pious. One who does not act sinfully, he is called Sukriti. And one who acts sinfully, he is called Duskriti. <coughs> so Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that four classes are men, namely, Artha Arthati, if he is pious and if he is distressed, then he goes to church or temple. My Lord, I am dis- distressed. Please uh, give me some help. Uh, praise to the Lord. And Arthat, the one who is poor, he also goes to pray to God, to give him some money. He is in distressed condition. These two classes and another two classes, Jigyasu, one who is inquisitive to understand what is God, <laughs> and Gani. Uh, Gani means one who understands his constitutional position. His Gani. Most people, they do not understand what he is and what is the goal of life. They are called again uh, in ignorance, just like animals. Uh, animal does not know what is the aim of life. Uh, similarly, if a human being does not know what is the aim of life, he is also animal. Uh, so, Chaturvida Bhajante Maang Dush Sukriti Na Arjuna Arthyarthi Gyani Jigyasu Gyani Chabharata So, this is the beginning of life. Uh, to try to understand, to approach God. That is the beginning of human civilization. Therefore, in the Vedic civilization, 
देर आर फोर प्रिंसिपल धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष धर्म मीन्स रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट बिकॉज वी रिक्वायर मनी आफ्टर ऑल टू कीप दिस बॉडी फिट दैट इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर धर्म अर्थ काम काम मीन सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन आहार निद्रा भय टू ईट टू मेक अरेजमेंट फॉर ईटिंग टू मेक अरेजमेंट फॉर स्लीपिंग टू मेक अरेजमेंट फॉर सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन एंड टू मेक अरेजमेंट फॉर डिफेंस दीज आर नेसेसिटीज ऑफ द बॉडी दीज आर आर काम धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष एंड एट लास्ट टू बिकम लिबरेट मोक्ष मोक्ष मीन्स टू गेट आउट ऑफ द एंटैंगलमेंट ऑफ मेटीरियल मिजरेबल कंडीशन ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज कॉल मोक्ष वट इज द मेटीरियल मिजरेबल कंडीशन ऑफ लाइफ देर आर मेनी बट द एसेंस इज एज प्रेजेंटेड बाय कृष्णा जन्म मृत्यु जरा व्याधि दुख जो सहानुदर्शन एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग स्ट्रगलिंग फॉर एक्सिस्टेंस टू गेट आउट ऑफ द मिजरेबल कंडीशन ऑफ लाइफ एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ मिजरेबल कंडीशन मे बी डिफरेंट वन हैज गॉट ए मिलियन डॉलर ही थिंक्स दिस इज मिजरेबल कंडीशन आई मस्ट है Ten times of this money, then I will be happy. And one has got one hundred million dollars or one hundred dollars. He thinks that a thousand dollars I get. In this way, everyone is trying to approach a position where he will be happy. Uh, that is the Vedanta Sutra says that Ananda Maya Abhyasa, because we are spirit. So, uh, our position is Ananda Maya. Ananda Maya means always blissful, because we are part and parcel of God. God is uh, blissful, all good. Satchidananda uh, Vigra, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigra. His form, he has got form. He is not formless, but his form is different. Uh, that form means sat chit anand. Sat means itana, and chit means full of knowledge, and anand means full of bliss. So we are part and parcel of God. Krishna says, "Mamahi manse jiva." All these living entities, uh, they are my part and parcel. Hmm. So if Krishna is such it, such it Ananda, then we are also such it Ananda, because we are part, uh, just like gold and a gold small particle. That is also gold. You cannot say it is something else. No. So part or whole, it may be. That is difference. Part is never equal to the whole, but quality is the same. Therefore, uh, we being part and parcel of Krishna, the supreme Lord, we are trying to utilize our original constitutional position. Uh, this is going on, but we are doing that without Krishna. At the present moment, therefore, it is not successful. Part must remain with the whole. Huh. I have given this example many times that a, a small screw of typewriter or any machine, it must remain with the whole machine. Then it has value. If it is out of the machine, there is no value. A small screw. In the motor car, so long it is with the motor car, it has got value. 
And as soon as it is thrown out of the motor car, it is nowhere. Uh, so similarly, we are part and parcel of God, Krishna. If we remain with uh, Krishna, uh, just like we are part and parcel of our family, father, mother, and father is opulent. So if we remain with father and mother, we are also opulent. But if we give us the company of father and mother, father and mother, not ordinary father and mother, opulent, God is opulent. So then we are also opulent. And if we give up the company of father and mother, want to live independently, then we are. In this test, this is our position. Therefore, it is said here, dharma sahi apavargasya. The one should execute religion just to become free from this maya and go back to home, back to God. That is dharma. Therefore, Krishna personally comes and instructs. Then, my dear son, my dear part and parcel, sarva dharman parittaja mamekam saranam briya. You are suffering here in this material world repeatedly, birth after birth. Still, you are not in sense. Therefore, he said to Krishna, or Joe, that because you are my intimate friend, I am just in instructing you the most confidential part of dharma. What is that? The sarva dharman paritajya maam ekam sarva. This is your duty. Huh. So this Krishna consciousness movement is teaching the same principle. What Krishna taught 5,000 years ago in the battlefield of Kurukshetra to Arjuna we are broadcasting the same message. We have not manufactured anything new. But that is not dharma. Dharma cannot be manufactured. Uh, dharman to sakshad bhagavat pranitam. Just like law cannot be manufactured. If you manufacture some law uh, at your home, uh, that will not be accepted. Maybe some people, your friend, your relatives or your family members may accept. But that cannot be accepted by all law. But the law given by the government must be accepted by everyone. Similarly, dharma means the law given by God. That is dharma. Not that I manufacture this dharma, you manufacture another dharma, you manufacture another. That may be partially both, but it is not dharma. Uh, dharma is dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranitam. That is the devil. Just like law is made by the God. The government makes the law, keep your car to the right, and that has to be accepted by everyone. You cannot say, why not left? In India we keep our car on the left side. Why not here? No, then it will be unlocked. Similarly, Krishna says this is dharma. Uh, not that jatamat, tatapat, whatever you manufacture, that is dharma. No, that is askarna. Uh, this is dharma. Sarva dharma anparitajya. Mam ekam only one. That is not. Uh, so here Sudha Goswami is explaining that what is dharma? Uh, dharma means dharmasa hi apavargas. Dharma means to uh, disentangle yourself from these material complexities. That is dharma. Uh, that the same thing, 
anywhere you go in the vedic literature the same thing is there dharma means to uh, mm uh, mold your life in such a way that ultimately you become a disentangle from this complication of material life uh the complication of essence of the complication is janma mrityu jara vyadhi birth death old age and disease this is material complication because we living entity najayate manam yate va we have no birth no death this is our position ha uh, we are simply we are changing body ha uh, tatha dehantar prapti dhiya sat namayati this is the instruction dehantar prapti ha uh, dehi nasmin jatha dehi kaumaro jubanam jara तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति जस्ट लाइक दिस चिल्ड्रन दे हैव गॉट ए बॉडी नाउ दिस विल बी चेंज व्हेन दे विल बी यंग द डिफरेंट बॉडी एंड द यंग मैन व्हेन ही विल बी ओल्ड ए डिफरेंट बॉडी सिमिलरली द ओल्ड मैन व्हेन ही विल फिनिश दिस बॉडी ही विल गेट अ डिफरेंट बॉडी दिस इज कॉल्ड देहांतर प्राप्ति एक्सेप्टिंग अनदर so we are changing uh, but we are so full that we do not understand what is the real problem of life we are simply busy in some temporary problems a uh, real problem is that a living being is eternal and by the laws of nature by his karma he has to change his body That is real problem. Tatha uh, de hantra prati, and we can see if we have got eyes that there are many varieties of life. Eight million four hundred thousand varieties of life. Jalajana vallakhani sabra lokhuvinshadi. So Krishna says tatha de hantra prati. According to your karma. You'll get another body. That what kind of body I shall get? That I am. Do, I do not know. Then what is your education? Hmm? Suppose you are being educated, you know aim that I shall become a lawyer. I become a scientist. I shall become a mathematician. With this purpose, you are being educated. But what purpose you are being educated for the next life? Do you know this? No. Then what is your education? Hmm? You may be very good scientist, but can you manufacture a scientific law that will never die? No, that is not possible. Huh? I never take birth after death. Huh? You will never be diseased. You can manufacture nice medicine for a type of disease, but you cannot stop disease. You cannot stop birth. You cannot stop death. You cannot stop disease. You cannot stop uh, old age. Therefore, Krishna gives the essential essence of knowledge. Jnana, jnani means one who can see. What is the problem of my life? Janma mitu jara badi dukho dushanu da. This is the problem. Uh, therefore, dharma means abhavargasa. How to avoid birth, death, old age, and disease? Abhavar. Ah, pavarga, pavarga. Ah, those are um, educated in India. They know. पॉवर्ग कॉवर्ग चॉवर्ग टॉवर्ग सही इट इज पॉवर्ग पॉ मीन्स परिश्रम लेबर एंड फ मीन्स हार्ड लेबर इन सो दैट फॉर्म कम्स आउट ऑफ द माउंट पॉ फ बॉ बॉ मीन्स बैपुल 
in spite of all laboring hard life is bad pa pa ba bho 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 means always fear what will happen next and mo mo means with to so in this way struggling pa pa ba bho mo that is called pa bho so here it is said dharma sahi apa varga sa apa apa means just to make nullify this life of power that is means liberation to come to the original position spiritual life dharma sahi apa varga sa nor thai apa varga sa not that you go to church and temple and pray to god god give me some money I am in this state's condition. Please, God can do that. It is not very difficult. He is doing already. Uh, the birds and bees they do not go to church or temple, and uh, they have no problem. Uh, uh, they are living very happy. So that is not the aim of life. The aim of life is how to regain our God consciousness. Go Krishna consciousness and love Him, uh, because we do not love God. Therefore, we have been obliged to love Maya, Sita. Uh, this is our present position. Uh, therefore, in this chapter and beginning is uh, so. So, by Pumjang Puru Dharma, Jato Bhakti Radhukaj. There are different types of religious system. But that type of religious system is first class, which teaches the follower how to love God. That is first class. Not to go to the church and give me my daily bread or please minimize my troubles of life, give me some money. No, ah, uh, this is also good because one has gone to God. Uh, so he is in touch. Somehow or other, he has gone to the fire. Then, if he keeps there, it will be warm and warm. But those who are duskriti na, they do not go even to the God. Nama duskriti na mula prapadanti na radhama. So they are better than one who goes to the church or temple and prays to God. For minimizing his distress condition, he is better than the atheist who never goes to God, uh, because this man will get chance to understand God someday. Uh, and that man, the Duskriti no Naradhama, will never get chance. Uh, this is the position now throughout the whole world. People are becoming godless. Uh, More and more. Uh, so this is a very, very precarious condition of life. Therefore, Krishna consciousness movement is essential. Uh, it is uh, not a fashion. It is essential, and everyone should take to it very seriously, uh, because uh, we do not know what we are getting the next life. Uh, next slide. The other day I was giving example in Berkeley. We are sitting within the room, and next to our window there was a tree standing. That is also living entity. We are also living entity. Uh, just uh, a, a yard from our room, the stand, the tree is standing. But he has got so many disadvantages. He cannot move an inch. There is severe cold. There is scorching heat. There is blast. There is wind and, and sunshine. But he has no power to move. And we are human beings. We are in a comfortable room. Why these different changes of condition? Although the tree is also a living being, and I am also a living being. Uh, who has made this condition? Uh, but we have no knowledge. Uh, so I may get that condition next life. 
then what is the value of my education? Jangan-jangan-bhāpi smaran loki tatrattanti kalevaram. Because at the time of death, the, your mentality, my mentality, we decide what kind of body I am going to be. That is under the laws of nature. You cannot dictate that give me this American life or Indian life. No. Karma nāda even a three. No. By your karma it will be decided whether you will be American, Indian or snake or tree or bird. Daivanatri. Just like when you go to the court, the court will decide whether you will be punished or you will be rewarded. You cannot dictate to the court that, sir, give me this judgment. No. That is not possible. <laughs> Similarly, here it is indicated that religion, what is religion? Religion should be to uh, disentangle you from this material, miserable condition. Dharma sahi apamargasya. Na arthaya apakalpati. Not that you go to church or temple and ask for some material benefit. No, that is not it. Na arthasya. Dharma ita antasya. Arthasya. We are earning money. And by some occupation, that's all. Then what is the purpose of this money? Uh, now if you are dharmic, dharmaika antasya, if you are actually religious, then your money is not meant for sense gratification. No arthasya. Dharmaika antasya. Kamula bhaya vismita. Not for your sense gratification. You should know that this money, excess money, uh, you have got, it is God's money. Uh, because in the Bhagavad Gita, he learned, Bhoktaram Jagbhutavasya. He is Bhokta. Uh, he is Bhokta. Uh, Bhokta means enjoy. Uh, just like uh, we are just coming here, this Ford company and this company, so many there. So the factory is going on. The Bhokta is the managing director of the proprietor, not the worker. Uh, worker can get their salary, that's all. Uh, the bhokta, real and jail, is the proprietor. Uh, therefore, now it is the Communist Party. They say, we are working, why this man should enjoy the struggle? So, this struggle, either the worker become proprietor or the capitalist become proprietor, it is the same thing. The real proprietor is Krishna. Bhokta hum, bhokta ram jagrata vasam. That we do not know. That we know. This kind of change will not help. Uh, the capitalist thinking that I am bhokta or the laborer thinking I am bhokta. Nobody is Bhokta. Bhokta is Krishna. Uh, if we try to understand, we can understand. Because uh, Bhokta means the proprietor. The God is the proprietor of everything. You are manufacturing one big nice car, but who has manufactured this metal? Who has manufactured this wood with which you have manufactured a nice car? Uh, that is manufactured by a God. You are not manufactured. You are changing the shape. Uh, from iron to iron seed, iron seed to another form, that's how you can do that. You cannot manufacture. The original proprietor is Krishna. He said, uh, Me, my, the earth, water, fire, here. Yeah. Sky, mind, intelligence, even your intelligence is Krishna's. With your intelligence, with the ingredients of Krishna, if you manufacture something, the proprietor is Krishna. Because they, just like a carpenter, you give the wood, the instrument, these labor charges, the when he manufactures a nice closet, who, to whom it will be. 
belong. It will belong to the man who has supplied you all these things. Similarly, you may be changing the form of the material elements, but you are not proprietor. The proprietor is Krishna. And that is Krishna consciousness. If we understand this philosophy, that everything uh, belongs to Krishna, that is the fact. And if you do not understand that, that is Maya. Maya means not that. Maya. Uh. So, this Krishna consciousness movement is uh, educating people in this way that Krishna is the enjoyer. Uh, you have seen Krishna's picture. He's always enjoying, he's not working. Uh, that is Krishna. Uh, God, in the Vedas, the definition of God is given. Natasya karjam karanancha vidyati. God has nothing to do. Uh, he's enjoying. Well, he'll do. He'll not work. Natasya karjam karanancha vidyati. Natasya sama udhikasta dishyati. Nobody is found equal to him or greater than him. That is God. Uh, now there are so many gods coming from India. Uh, <laughs> the God is one. Natasya sama adhikasya. Nobody can be equal to him. No God be. Nobody can be greater than him. That is God. Uh, Ishara parama krishna. Satchidananda vigra. Anadi radhi govinda sarvakar. Parama, controller. Ishara means control. So here in the material world we find that I am controller, I am controlled by somebody else. Uh, then that controller is controlled by somebody else. So controller over, controller over, controller over. When you come to the point when the controller is there, but no more controller upon him, that is God. That is God. Uh, if I am controlled by a dentist, a god has become affected with tooth trouble and goes to the... Then he is not god. Uh, such kind of god we do not worship. Uh, then when there is some tooth head, he goes to a doctor. Uh, so no, that is not god. God means Ishara Parama Krishna. And Krishna says, Matta Parataram Nanya. There is no more superior authority than me. Uh, and Arjun accepts Parabrahma Paramadhamo Pavitam Paramam Bhava. So, in this way, uh, try to understand what is Dharma, what is God, and we can help you. This Krishna consciousness movement. And we have got now about 50 books. Big, big books like that. To understand Krishna. Simply to understand Krishna. So if you want to understand Krishna through your education, through your scientific knowledge, philosophy, and whatever you like, yes, we can convince you. We have got so many books. But if you say that you have no money to purchase books, you are not so learned to do it, Chant Hare Krishna, then you'll understand Krishna. Thank you very much. Yeah.